G'day Billy. G'day guys, Billy here from Lost Treasure. Long time no here guys. Well, I have been flat out in the last couple of months guys. I've done probably two scrap trips to pay my mortgage since you last saw me. But anyway guys, at the moment, what I'm doing is getting ready for a big stainless steel, aluminium, cast aluminium, a little bit of copper and brass probably and but mainly getting rid of all of my stainless steel and aluminium so all of this stuff here guys most of this or if not all of this is all ready to go so i'm going to fill this uh chuck up chock a block full so it's going to be really full guys um good thing about stainless steel and aluminium it doesn't really weigh that much but i'm hoping to get at least a couple of ton um so i've got these old solar um solar powered um, water heater inserts just to make it a bit high so I can fit as much as possible um, a little bit of copper and brass in here so I'm going to fill up these four 44 gallon drums with uh, burnt copper wire copper brass and whatever else um, also here guys this is all mainly all metal detecting finds there's good stuff in here too guys but what I'm going to do is sort this out go through everything um, like lead, copper, brass, and get rid of it all. Not the good stuff, but just the stuff what I can um, cash in, like little bits and pieces of copper and brass, lead, and all of that. And there's also plenty of good finds in here too, guys, but it's buried underneath all of this table. So, be sorting that out. Also planning on going eBay, back on eBay soon, guys. Um, probably... Um, early January hopefully depending on my finance situation here all of this stuff here guys is all bits and pieces of copper brass lead toothpaste bottle caps that I've picked up out the old rubbish dump so this is totally full of copper brass lead electrical wire and all that stuff so is this so there's a fair bit there guys so some of the bottles I found recently I have been metal detecting and stuff like that guys, finding heaps of stuff. I'll um, get back into the routine of doing videos soon, but my main priority is making money so I can pay for my mortgage. Here's more stuff here, what I've just unloaded off the truck. Uh, all aluminium brass, um, copper, pots and pans, and all of that stuff. There, stainless steel chairs, so... The next week guys I'll be busy cutting up all of this copper or sorry all of this mainly aluminium and stainless steel and I've got a shitload of uh, kitchen sinks stainless steel sinks what I'll be cutting up too the good ones I'll be keeping to sell on eBay and also in there there's copper brass and all that kind of stuff just over here guys is a heap of um remember that time when i picked up what i told you about the radiators the uh, mechanics at wagen oh so here's all of these so when i come back from my scrap trip that's going to be my, my next mission cutting apart all of these nice aluminium and copper radiators and running 50 50. brought myself a new at gold metal detector guys went metal detecting the other day at an amazing location another really old dump secret location but it's beautiful clean soil no asbestos so it's great for metal detecting i found some awesome stuff coins dog tags heaps of copper and brass bits and pieces and so forth and also guys a heap of batteries 550 dollars a ton i'll be getting for these whereas if i take them to allied scrap metal it's only about 200 bucks a ton and all of this stuff in here guys is full of Copper TV coils, heaps of um, motors, what I'll be eventually cashing in and taking apart. Also found this nice Yamaha, also found this nice Mercury 200 horsepower um, boat uh, engine out the rubbish dump the other day, so I'll sell that on eBay. But in here guys, heaps of motors, microwave motors in there, um, washing machine motors, fridge motors, that kind of stuff. So I'm saving those up, so that's going to be very time consuming to take apart the copper. Anyway guys, if you're unsure how to take apart fridge compressors, I've got a really good popular video on that, it's easy, so I'll put the link below. Anyway guys, so here's all the stuff here. So I've been 
um, doing pretty well scrapping. Um, haven't done any big road trips lately, but I've got heaps of road trip videos I need to upload. So I apologise for my absence. Like I say, I've been busy and also motivation. Sometimes, guys, I've just got no motivation. But yeah, honestly, I'd probably have at least 100 videos I could upload, but I just, my main priority, guys, is surviving. So I'll put some photos, guys. Stay tuned, and as I go along, I'll just do short videos, updates. All right, guys, it's good to be back. And hopefully I'll stay back for a while. And like I say, I have got heaps of videos. Bottle digging, metal detecting, uh, relic hunting, scrap road trips, and heaps more. So if you're not subscribed, guys, feel free to subscribe. This is going to be very time consuming to take a, to go through all of these. And uh, even just stuff like this, guys. Old sardine tins, I'll, I'll pick up bottle caps. It all adds up in weight and the reason I pick up everything out the old rubbish dump where I come from is because it just makes it so much easier for metal detecting. Alright guys, we'll keep you up to date and also I just sold about, um, unfortunately I didn't have much choice, I just sold a heap of canine dog registration tags, two horse brass horse cut number plates and a beautiful uh, milk cart badge. What I found the other day out another town and I made a thousand dollars so in my pocket here it's a thousand dollars cash what's gonna to go towards bills in my mortgage so that's awesome all right guys stay tuned and we'll keep you up to date also guys I've joined Instagram so from now on every time I find stuff metal detecting I'll upload the photos to Instagram as well, but I've only got two photos there, so when I get organised, I will upload a heap of photos on Instagram, and then I'll let you know my link. Alright guys, hope everything's well wherever you are, and thanks to all my new subscribers, and all my dedicated subscribers who stayed with me in the last couple of months during my absence. Okay, 36 degrees Celsius today guys, it's going to be bloody hot, and I need to get motivated. Just waiting for this shade to come over. Um, west is that way, so once the sun comes over, all of this area will be nice and shady, so be nice and cool. Alright, see you guys.